this video, we're going to cover creating groups within pivot tables in Google Sheets. So you can see here we have a data set of loans by origination date. And the first field we want to group by in our pivot table is origination date. We want to create a group once we have our pivot table that groups our loan pool by month and year. So I'm going to click anywhere in this data set, go up to data and then select pivot table. Now it will select the range it thinks you want to include in your pivot table automatically. This is in fact my last row, row 130. If you're planning on adding new records, you can just change that to the column letter to make that infinite. So by default, it will insert this pivot table on a new sheet. That's what we want. So I'm going to hit create and we get a blank canvas for our pivot table. So over to the right, we have the pivot table editor window. And the first thing we want to do is include some row labels. So I'm simply going to drag my origination date field over to this rows section and you can see all the origination dates populate in that field to the left. So the first thing I see is that we have a, a blank row in row 2. So what I want to do is come down to our filter section, click on the origination date field that we currently have in here and it's currently set to showing all items I'm gonna click on that and uncheck blanks click OK so now what we want to do is add the loan amount to our value section so I'm gonna drag this over to our values and there it is so now we want to group these origination dates by month and year. So I'm going to right click on any field in column A, come down to this create pivot table group and you can see for date values we have just a whole range of options here. What I want is year month. So I'm going to click on that and it groups by year and month. So what I'd also like to do is add a label here for our branch locations. So in this row section underneath our first bucketed origination date section, I'm going to drag the location field underneath that. And you can see we now have by year, month, and then branch location. So what if we wanted to group the branches together? Um, let's say branch one and two had the same manager and branch three and four had the same manager. So we want to group by that. So I'm going to select branch one and two, right click and create pivot table group. So you can see now we have a grouped location branch one and two. If I want to do the same thing for three and four, I'm going to click on branch three, hold down my control button, then click on branch four, right click, create pivot table group. And now we have a group by three and four as well. So now this is looking a little busy here. So what I want to do now that I have this grouped location is get rid of this individual branch location. So in our rows section in our editor window, you can see we have our date section and then our grouped location section. What I want to do is X out just the regular individual location section. So I'm going to X out of that and you can see now we just have our groupings. So I'd like to simplify this label a little bit here. So I'm just going to simply say branch one and two 
and that updates in all these other months groupings down here. I'm going to do the same for three and four. And there it is. And if I wanted to switch this around so that the branches groupings are first, all I have to do is drag this grouped location above our month and year section and it's now broken out by the branch grouping and then the year and month. So in our final example what we want to do is create a pivot table grouping that groups the individual loan amounts in buckets of ranges like you know a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand two hundred thousand to three hundred thousand and so on and so on so I'm gonna go back to our original data set I'm just gonna start from scratch again so I'm gonna go up to data pivot table we'll select the range as is create and for our rows what I'm gonna drag in is our loan amount and one thing to take note of when you're doing buckets on numerical values, you want to know your lowest amount, which this will be sorted from smallest to greatest, and then all the way down to the bottom, get the highest amount. So we've got 22,000 as our lowest, 564 as our highest. So I'm going to right click anywhere and create pivot table group rule, and then you need to input a minimum value. So we have 22,000 for our lowest, so I'm gonna use 20,000, because that's a nice round number. And then for our, the maximum value, I'm gonna input 600,000, because no loan is greater than that. And then our interval size. Well, it's really up to you. I'm gonna use 100,000. I think that's a good round number. So click OK, and then we have our buckets there as far as the loan amounts. So now what I want to do is drag our loan amounts field again into our value section and you can see we get the total loan amounts sum which is the default for values by these buckets. Now if I wanted to change this to maybe the count, all I need to do is come down to this value section from this drop down, select count, and we get the counts of each of these buckets. And if I wanted to change this to a percentage, I could say percentage of column, and percentage wise we can see which bucket makes up the highest percentage. Now I could break this out by location. So if I wanted to bring that down, you can see we get percentages by bucket, by branch. I could move the location to our column section and then we have it in more of a grid style format and if I wanted to see how each branch is doing per bucket in relation to the other branches what I can do is change this percentage from percentage of columns to percentage of rows and you can see now we have a total of hundred percent for each row so you can see for example in this final bucket of the highest loan amounts Branch 1 is by far originating the most in this particular bucket. So those are just a few examples of how you can group by your fields in pivot tables in Google Sheets. That is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.